Auto Orient will automatically adjust the rotation of a layer. So if you have a graphic or object on a layer, when you turn on Auto Orient, that graphic or object is going to follow the path's orientation and automatically rotate so it looks natural. To use Auto Orient, you need to have a path for the layer or the graphic or object on the layer to follow along. You can create paths and after effects using any one of the shape tools or the pen tool, which is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna make sure that no layers are selected. I'm gonna select the pen tool. You can also use keyboard shortcut G. No fill color and no stroke color. I'm going to click my first point outside of the composition window is that's where I want the animation to start. So I'm just gonna to click to make a path point. I'll click, and I'm just gonna follow the mountain range. If you make a mistake, you can just simply click on one of the points and move it around, you can adjust it. I'll click, click. You can hold the space bar and move your composition window around. When you're done drawing the path, you can just deselect the layer. I'm gonna drag on the podcast bus from the project panel. Just drag it right onto my composition. It's a little small, so I'll tap S for scale and I'm just gonna scale it up. I also wanna make sure that the anchor point is at the center of the layer. So I'll press Command on a Mac, Control if you're on Windows, and just double click on the Pan Behind tool. And now for the magic path trick. So I'm gonna twirl open the path layer. I'll twirl open contents, twirl open shape one, twirl open path one. Then click on path. With path selected, copy it to your clipboard using Command or Control C, or going up to the edit menu, and select copy. Then select the layer that you want to follow the path. So in my case, it's the podcast bus and tap P to open up the position property, select the position property and press command or control V to paste the path onto the position property. If you look on the timeline, you'll see that After Effects automatically created the position keyframes. And if I drag the CTI or the playhead forward, you will see the podcast bus is now following along that path. Pretty cool. The podcast bus is following the direction of the path, but it's not rotating, so it doesn't look very natural. So to fix this, we're gonna turn on Auto Orient. Select the layer that you want to auto orient to a path. Go to the top menu, go to Layer, Transform, and go to the very bottom, Auto Orient. The keyboard shortcut is Option Command O if you're on a Mac or Alt Control O if you're on Windows. In the dialog box, just tick the radio button for Orient Along Path and then click OK. Before I do so, just notice the direction of the podcast bus. As soon as I click OK, you're going to see it automatically rotate. Cool. And now when I drag the CTI forward, you will see the bus is automatically rotating following the natural direction of the path. And if you ever want to turn off or disable Auto Orient, just select the layer, go back to the top menu, click on Layer, Transform, Auto Orient, or use the keyboard shortcut, then just tick the radio button for Off and click OK. And to adjust the keyframes so you can control the speed, select the layer, Tap P for position, click on the word position, that will select all of the keyframes. Then just press Option or Alt, click on the last keyframes. If you drag it to the right, it's dragging all the keyframes proportionally to each other. If you go to the right, that's gonna slow down the animation. And if you go to the left, that's gonna speed up the animation. A side troubleshooting tip. If you preview the animation and maybe your object is not following the path the way you like it, for example, the bus is really far from the mountain, you can adjust the paths, but can get a little tricky. My recommendation is simply to delete the position keyframes, adjust the path by selecting it. I'll press shift, just click on a vertex and just simply adjust the path. Then go back and repeat the process of copying the path onto the position property auto orient and it'll be much easier for you and that is how to auto orient a layer along a path in adobe after effects cc 2024 my name is mike murphy cheers